welcome back to the channel. It's Sketch Funky here, and this video is going to be a bit of a challenge. This car, the Mercedes SLS AMG, one of the cars that I've been requested most to do something with, change the package of it from a front engine to a mid engine or a truck or do whatever you want with it, just redesign it in some way. And I can see why this is being requested so much because. If you look at the proportions of this car, 50% of the entire length is the hood of the car. So changes this, changing this into something else than a front engine car is obviously going to be just a bit of a challenge. But you know what? I'm up for it. So let's have some fun. Let's turn this into not a mid-engine car, but a ute. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know what a ute is, I think they are only available in Australia. I was there in 2006, I believe it was, or something like around those years, <laughs> I can't remember. And I remember the utes and I, I thought they were so cool. They were so colorful. They had a massive V8 in the front and a truck bed on the rear. So it was a 50% muscle car and then 50% truck, but it handled and it felt like you could drive it like a normal sports car. It was really cool. And a lot of them, it was also manual and there were so many different colors and styles of these utes. I think they are being discontinued now for some reason, which is kind of sad, but that's one of the reasons why we're gonna take this Mercedes SLS AMG here and try to turn it into something resembling the Aussie Utes. So let's get in and let's see how this is going to turn out. So we can try and make something like that with this SLS AMG here and just go nuts. We're not gonna take this too seriously. Let's make a Ute. Maybe we can try to make a mid-engine version of the SLS, which I have no idea at the moment how that will turn out or is even possible. Let's start with a Ute design. What needs to happen here? With the SLS AMG to turn it into a Ute. First of all, we need of course a bed because a ute is a type of pickup truck so what needs to happen is that this part right here needs to be moved forward and that is going to happen in the case of a mid-engine SLS AMG as well but the difference between creating a ute and a mid-engine SLS AMG is that we don't have to play around and modify too much of the greenhouse when we're creating the ute it doesn't really matter it's still going to be a front engine of course so we need to move it forward just a little bit and then create some sort of bed. So let's see how this is going to turn out. The format today is going to be a little bit different as well. I'm not going to speed up the uh, modifications here. I'm just going to let you follow along in the process of creating these redesigns and uh, talk about what I'm doing at the moment and my thought behind each of the different changes that we're going to make to this car. So first of all, I'm copy pasting the greenhouse here. Sometimes it's easier to look at the screen there than looking here because my hand is covering some of the essential parts of the car to, to get a good overview of the package. But this already looks very, very weird, which is not a surprise at all. But what we can do is see where we can take this and turn it into a U. Let's do our best here and uh, try to make the Australians proud if this in fact was to become a proper ute something like that i think the greenhouse needs to be moved forward even more to that point something like that i guess looks a lot better since it's a a pickup truck here obviously we're gonna have to move the uh, door forward as well <laughs> let's keep the glowing doors for this pickup truck because why not an sls amg Ute should be pretty spectacular in any way it can be. So we are keeping the Goaling doors for this design here. So from this point on, we do have a lot of work to do here because this looks like crap. So we need to, I'm gonna copy paste all the layers and put them into one single layer and then go in and play around with the magic tool which is liquify. Liquify is what we want, and then we can go in and create more of a um, bed that is uh, functional, more of a functional bed, and that means raise it up a little bit. So it has a uh, 
more of a depth you can actually put stuff in the back it's not too shallow and that means that we need to raise up this edge here so that's what i'm gonna do right now and keep it straight too if you have a ute uh you kind of want the front to be the stylish part and then you want to have 50 percent if you cut the car in half you want the front part to be the stylish cool part and then you want the rear half to be the functional part so not a lot of styling features in the rear more so of a uh, just very functional rear end with a not so thick c pillar there c pillar so we have less c pillar and more bed space i think i need to overall just raise up the rear with the light as well because it's sitting too low to the ground and we need to have half of the car overall needs to be lifted up higher up to create a functional bed but it looks pretty cool here now i think we need to raise up the a the the greenhouse more so i think what i'm gonna do is copy it once again and uh, try to see what happens if we stretch it out and uh, just make it higher this way might work might not work either way we can make adjustments as we go this did not work so delete that let's keep the let's keep it as low as it is and then we have some weird reflections here that needs to be worked on too just airbrush over this part for example the reflection of the mirror and then we need to do the details which are creating all the new lines for the cut lines and the doors stuff like that i'm also going to move this forward so that it sits in front of the a pillar and not where the door line will go on this new design here because that doesn't make sense at all hmm there we go i think it actually starting to come to <laughs> come together here i just copy pasted the door and i didn't think it was going to work but it looks pretty good so all i need to do now is paint over the the old door connect all the lines that are messed up and we should be pretty good to go with the with the details of the side and then we need to think about the proportions of course which needs to be adjusted a little bit in the front here because the front doesn't see feel like it matches up with the rest of the car but first of all let's focus on these reflections here and the cut lines of the old door they need to go away fast too before we jump in and do the rest of the car connect the new door to the upper line something like this i guess that works and then of course there are some parts and details here that uh, need to go in and change to make everything look like it's actually supposed to be on the play the new places that they are in there are some cut lines that doesn't add up and stuff like that details that needs to be adjusted so what i want to do, do now is to define this bad line here so i want to raise it up and have it be as functional as possible and what what i mean by that is have it be not stylized at all pretty much just a straight line that goes in to the c pillar so this is not a one of these typical trucks that uh, you have separation between the bed and the rest of the cabin of the car of the truck here i want to have more of a unibody style and that makes more sense especially since it's a mercedes ute so i think they would go with a unibody style for this car i don't think mercedes in the first place would build anything like this so it doesn't really matter what i think but it's just a fun experiment to see what it would what it could look like if they took a mercedes sls amg and just went nuts and turned it into one of these utes here still not happy with this line here it needs more definition 
it looks blurry at some sp uh, spots and it's not straight and you can tell when you zoom out of a sketch like this you can see all the mistakes that you're making and of course if I take a coffee break right now and come back and look at this design I'm going to see 50 other things that uh, I, I can't see right now. After a while you get blinded to the sketch. You don't see the mistakes that you're doing. You don't see the messed up proportions that you're working on. And you think it looks good, but then when you take a break and you come back, you see like, what the heck was I thinking there? So coffee breaks, probably one of the most important things to do during the design process of any car or product that you're working on. Don't forget that coffee breaks, super important. Now the question is, could you still fit that 6.2 liter, 6.3 as it's indicated on the side, V8 under this hood here? That is the question. I think you could still fit it, but it would be more now in this package, a proper front engine car instead of a mid-engine, which I think that's like, it has to be a mid-engine uh, car, which means that the, uh, the engine is placed behind the front axle since the hood is so freaking long on the SLS AMG I can only imagine that it is actually mid-engine but in this case since we moved the whole cabin forward the greenhouse forward I think it kind of has to be a front engine car where the engine sits slightly in front of the front axle and creates a little bit more of a front heavy design but hey we're making a huge out of the SLS AMG and it looks pretty freaking cool so far. So let's continue and work a little bit more on the front here and make it integrated in this design. Maybe do a couple of changes on the rear as well. First of all, let's jump in and see what we can do with the front here. What I want to do is to make it smaller and then have it dip more. So we have something like this. We have more of a pointy nose in the front here. I don't know why, but I think that suits the uh, Ute design better. I'm trying to figure out why that is, but it just, it just does sometimes. Something like that, a tiny change, tiny change to the front, just lower it a little bit, make the headlights smaller by a couple of inches or centimeters, and boom, it looks a lot better and it looks a lot more fitting to this package. In my opinion, of course. So there we go. Let's see when we turn this last change on and off. You can see this is the original with the fat grill in the front and this is the more sleek looking front end, which I think suits this car better. Let me just fill in the door line on the top here. Cut line for the door going all the way up here. One thing I want to try and see what happens if we do it is if we create some sort of angle here instead of having it be straight, if that looks better or worse. And of course, as always, the only way to find out is to try it and see what it looks like. Not so sure about that change. I think it looked better before. I think it looks better like this when you have a straight line that goes from this point right here and then just stretches like that. I think that looks better rather than having a line that goes like this. But you know, it's going to look weird no matter what I do to this design because who in their right mind would design an SLS AMG Ute? I mean, I would because I'm not in my right mind. Well, there we have it guys. That's the Mercedes SLS AMG Ute. I hope you enjoyed this crazy little redesign here. I'm not done with it, but I'm going to, uh, to find the details that I think there's something some details that I still want to work on on this car. I'm going to speed that up and then give you the final result in the end of this video. But thank you so much for watching this video. I'm the Sketch Monkey. If you have crazy ideas like this, just comment below in the description and I will try to make a video out of your crazy idea. Take it easy. I will see you in the next video.